The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Our guest today will be Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. Tomorrow we have Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Always has some good information, especially on the cryptocurrencies and other markets, too. So we like to hear about the cryptos. But Stan Harley will be our guest at the break. Given market conditions, he might be too busy. Who never knows? Anyway, folks, I posted a chart of the FTSE and the DAX. You can see the DAX much, much weaker. Of course, being from Germany, they're highly reliant upon energy from the, uh, from the uh, Rus Russian Republic. So we have to... Uh, I realize that that's a big factor that they have to get through. Uh, also, I have to give a heads up, folks. Yesterday on the show, we had Shane Smullyan. He didn't even post a chart. All he did was talk to us about what he thought was going to happen next. And he was going to say we're probably going to have a lot of e emotionalism into today, the day after the full moon, and the Fed being in there yesterday, d beating all the drums, saying we've got your back, we've got your back, and all of those things happening. And, of course, we had a big run-up today. But, folks, if you like Fibonacci numbers, and I'm one that does, so I just want to show you something that happened today. And this was something that our friend Shane was kind enough to share with me this morning. You'll notice here the NASDAQ, we made a high on January the 4th. We came down on the 24th. We rallied up into the 50% retracement there on uh, February the 4th, and then we came down hard on the 24th of February. And today, believe it or not, folks, we made a 61% retracement of the high that we made on January, February the 4th. But folks, let's take it one step farther, okay? You're going to have to do the work yourself because I'm not going to do it for yourself because if I do it, it don't mean diddly squat to you. But if you do it, you say, some a gun, man. Hey, maybe that'd be something there. Anyway, that's my boys down there in Terre Haute, Indiana. That's how we used to talk when we were in high school. If you look at that high on January the 4th, and if you look at the low on February the 24th, 61% retracement off the February high and, boys and girls, 0.382 to the exact pit point, not not a point above, not a point below, to the exact point. So that's why you got to pay attention to some of these numbers. They don't work all the time, but when they do work, you know, they do work pretty good. So let's put this here. Does the March factor any of your planetary work? I don't do any planetary work, uh, Jimmy. I rely on Mr. Shane Smullyan and some of these other guys like Tim Boss and Norm Winsky to give me some of that stuff. I do one thing. Pal, just look up here at the mirror and you'll be able to see it. I do one thing. I'm like Curly. I know ABCDs and that's what I deal with. Now, I've got to go through some markets here with you today because they're very, very important. Look, we're looking at crude oil here, folks. This is, this is how you try to get down to risk control. The only thing we know for sure when you put these charts up is risk control. The absolute only thing you know. People might say, oh, yeah, yeah, I know it's going to happen. Yeah, right. Well, run away from that, dude. In fact, if it's me, run twice as hard. Because you don't know what's going to happen next. And you know what? Mark Douglas always said, you don't need to know what's going to happen next. All you got to be able to do is quantify your risk. Well, staying up at night like I always do, I was doing it with a good friend of mine out of Philadelphia that's a very, very active energy trader. And he said, let's try to find a place to uh, get short this market. And I said, hey, I'll do the best I can. And here's what we were looking at. This is the 15-minute chart of the crude oil okay now this happens to be the april crude now you notice the 1.618 up there at 117 the abcd that we had from the seventh from yesterday's low to the high came in at 116.57 you can see the high was 116.57 and i told him you don't have to sell that high if you don't want to wait till it breaks and sell the first 382 retracement folks and guess where that was? That was at 114. Well, this puppy, I believe, went all the way down to 106. I, I quit counting when it dropped. 
But that's the main thing. But look, look what's going on here, folks. Look, look at the, look what they're feeding us. Okay, now this is this is important. Here is, that's April, May, June, July, August. Let's go out four months, and you're going to see the August crude oil is trading for twenty some dollars a barrel under, the price of the nearby. Okay, now guess what? What do you think that is? That's called backwardation. Well, the reason why <laughs> Mr. G7 says, watch my blood pressure. Uh, Mr. G7, let me tell you something. My blood pressure is the same as it was when I was in high school. I mean, I my blood once in a while it goes up to, to, to 140 or something like that, but usually it runs about 125 to 135, and my systolic is uh, is spot on, 618 of the systolic. Uh, so anyway, it, it, I'm in great shape. I mean, <laughs> I'm a, I'm older, but I'm not old. So, but thank you for worrying about my blood pressure. No, I just wanted to share with you because when I see these things happening, I, I this is what keeps me this is what keeps me going in this business because I see these things and I say, well. They don't work all the time. Hell, nothing does. You know. <laughs> anyway, you can see the big difference. And, and believe me, when you get into the rearview mirror about two months down the road, three months down the road, why didn't I see something like that? Well, that's why they call it backwardation, boys and girls. That's why they call it backwardation. Okay, now let's get back here to a couple things that I think are relative. By the way, we're 350 handles below that number in the NASDAQ right now, so something's going on over there, a little bit of profit taking possibly. Uh, let's move on and let's talk about the wheat, okay? Here's what we've been watching in wheat. Let's just walk through this because I'm doing the same thing in wheat that I did in the crude oil, but it's a little different this time. Let me get this up here so we can see it. That's the first wheat chart that we wanna be looking at. All right, now the next one we wanna be looking at is uh where are you at number three here here's what we're looking at i want you to see here's where we are now you get the wheat up remember now we're seeing wheat uh almost at uh 12 uh, 12 bucks a, a bushel anyway here is the last few days you can see the first through the, where we are now the third you see these key times here that's when we were lock limit up those little blinds there we were lock limit up one two three four times today lock limit up now we came off of that we came off of that limit quite a bit, and I'll show you why, because this is the important part of what I do with these numbers, because they do have predictive capabilities within limits, and that's the limits that we're, that's we're dealing with. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to update that, and I'll show you what's happened today. The wheat came off the limit, all right? You'll see that. It came all the way down from 1140 all the way down to, we dropped 40 cents a bushel, folks, 40 cents a bushel, and guess where it is now, folks? lock limit up again. The reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is, if you look at the middle of the chart where it says 1.618 up there at 11.64, okay, that's the number. We're not gonna probably see it today, but if we do, we're gonna look at it tomorrow and see how well it predicts it, whether it did this or not. Now, it predicted it okay in the crude oil and the heating oil. All of those work just fine, but when they don't work, that doesn't mean anything. It just means you move on to the next one. That's all it is. It's not not a big one. Here's one that we, we talked about yesterday uh, in one of the videos that I sent out. And this was the, uh, is the, you know, watch for a 382 retracement in the bonds. And we got one up there at the 158. We got a second one at 157. So that's what you want to be watching. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. And I'll take my blood pressure medication and uh, meet you on the other side of the hill here. <laughs> You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I wanted to bring to your attention a couple quick things here. Uh, I had to put that chart up about the NASDAQ because I know Shane's not going to pull it up. He's not going to wave any flag in, any, in front of anybody's face. But let me tell you a story about flag waving, waving for folks. It was 1972. I was long eggs. And this was on a Friday. And I'll be doggone if the egg report didn't come out after the close. And my gosh, the government was buying everything in sight. There might not be any eggs except for the, in the Smithsonian. I had four contracts of eggs, and I was happier than a pig in poop. And I said, oh, man, I've got to go celebrate. So I went down to Beverly Hills to Maury's Haberdashery, where the movie stars, where T-shirts were $100. This was 1972, and they had a leather Western jacket there, beautiful glove leather, tan with a beautiful a suede inlay. And, oh, man, it was, it was really incredible. Fit me like a glove. I think I weighed about 125 at that. Well, I was closer to 165. But anyway, it fit me perfectly, uh, size 40. And uh, I just couldn't wait to pick it up. I paid $1,000 for it, folks, and because I knew I was going to make at least 15 grand on those eggs on Monday morning. And boy, I was really happy. So I come in Monday morning really early. I got into a Conti commodity around 630. And Roy Fassel called me into the office. He said, hey, we got a problem. And I said, what's wrong? He said, the egg report was mistaken. And I said, "What do you mean?" He said, "They're not they're not uh, buying any eggs at all. They they they've suspended buying for three months." And I said, "What?" Well, eggs move eggs drop three limits in a row, minus twenty large folks. That was a twenty thousand dollar jacket. I got out, never to trade eggs again, and I had that jacket in my. Uh, closet for I think seven or eight years. Never wore it one time. I couldn't. I couldn't even stand to look at it. And finally, St. Jude Catholic Church there in uh, West Lake Village had a reverse auction, and I took it in. It still had the. It still had the labels and the, the sales thing on from Maury's. And uh, they said, "Oh, we can." They sold it for two grand. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I couldn't. Uh, I gave it away as charity. But uh, that's why you got to be really careful about getting too ubulant about anything. And you know, like Johnny Cash said you know, walk softly and carry a big stick. I think a politician said that too. But anyway, you just got to be quiet because sometimes things go up, sometimes things go down. You just don't know when those times are. Let's take a look here, folks, at the U.S. dollar index. Uh, very, very important to watch this. We'll have Stan Harley as our guest today. 
and we'll get that up right here. Okay. All right. There you go. There's the, uh, there's, you can see the strong resistance we're getting it up here at around 98 uh, in the uh, US dollar index. But the most important one, more important than that, it, well, they're all important, but some are even more important than that. And this is one of those. And we're going to get it up here in just a second, as soon as these old highs can find it. And boy, this is the one you got to pay attention to, folks. This is a big index because it can, you know, it's uh, all these indices. And look, we're we're within just a, a half a point or so of that 61% retracement up there above 98. And believe me, all the people in the world, when this thing gets above 98, are going to be blowing horns. You know, and that's uh, that's why you've got to be really, really careful up here because that's going to be the spot where you want to reverse. And that's uh, the dollar being strong should be uh, the dollar. We should be gold being weak, but gold's been strong into this mainly because of what's happening in political, uh, you know, what's going on over in uh, you know Eastern Europe. And the whole everybody in the news knows what's going on over there, except someone that doesn't have a TV or a radio. Or hand signals. I mean, everybody knows what's going on there. So let's pay close attention to that. That's on my radar. We're getting closer to it all the time. And uh, as we watch the euro unfold here, we're getting down here near these levels of that 109. Those of you that take the 24-7 newsletter, that 109 has been our level. We're trading at 110 and change right now. So 109 is the 78% retracement down there. That will be equivalent to what we do when we hit the 98 and change in the US dollar index. So uh, that's something that I'll be up uh, all night looking at it as we get closer to it, and maybe that's tonight. So let's remind ourselves that these markets are here for the benefit of everybody that stays up all night. Uh, that's a joke, folks. Let's take a look here at this uh, Bitcoin. We've been in a really tight trading range now in the Bitcoin. Uh, for several months, we got a high of around 41, no, 46, uh, 46,000. We're now trading around 44. The 382 retracement on this, folks, comes in at 47,000. That would be a perfect A, B, C, D, exactly at the 382 retracement at 47,000. If Bitcoin starts getting above 48, 49, 50, it's probably going to go to 100,000. But right now, it's got to get above 47. The last I saw, it was around 44,000 today. So that's something that is, uh, you know, pretty interesting to look at. By the way, also the open interest in the crude oil, even though it's going nuts and it's in the news, just like it was back in 2008, uh, it's in the news all the time. Open interest is not increasing, uh, believe it or not. And uh, that, I find that hard to believe, considering there's so much specs out there. So a lot of it is uh, shorter term, and many, m much of it is option related. So the option players are in there big time, but not so much in the futures market. The futures market is where they keep score, but the options is where they play the game. So uh, if you're an options player, get ready because your premiums are just absolutely out of this. I mean, you got to be, unless you're an option seller, go take a vacation for heaven's sakes. It's, you don't have any chance at all. They're, they're putting in premiums there that, uh, you know, Hector can't figure out what they are. And that dog is pretty smart. So let's uh, remind ourselves that uh, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. And that's the, the key to doing this right here. I do the best I can trying to do that. I miss a lot of stuff, but you're not going to catch me there with a something really nasty, at least anyway, not for the time being right now. Anyway, we'll get a break here. We got, uh, oh, we got uh, the break coming up in two minutes. If you have any questions, 877-927-6448. And we'll see where we, where these markets are going to be going here later today. But we've had a pretty big reversal. We were up uh, almost 300 in the Dow. We were down just a little while ago. I don't know where we are now. And the uh, NASDAQ had about a 400-point swing at one time, I believe. And I don't know where that is now. So it's always interesting when we see these exciting things happening, uh, uh, jumping around quite a bit. But the the thing uh, with the uh, the crude oil is uh, probably not over. We've had a pretty big range. I think the range was about ten thousand dollars from high to low. Uh, so that was a that was a pretty big range. But remember, we had that before. We had that yesterday too. I mean, it's another ten thousand. I mean, that's all it is. It's just swinging ten thousand dollars at a time. And believe me, they're, you're you're going to see that at IBE and all these other places. Your your margins on these things are going to go through the roof. So you've got to be. You've got to be really prepared for what you're doing here. 
And if you're doing options, be careful because these premiums that they're building into these things, well, just for an example, look at August crude. You know, it's selling for $20. So you got $20 a barrel under where the others are, and, 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 and they're still taking premiums on it. Oh, boy, un unbelievable. This reminds me of when in 2000, uh, uh, 1991, uh, the Desert Storm War lasted one day, 24 hours, and the premiums on the oil at that time was 41. The oil trading at 42 bucks a barrel, and the premiums were so high you you just couldn't believe it. if you either buy a call or sell a put, it didn't make any difference. Uh, it was extremely high, and of course that high went from 42 down to 11 dollars a barrel the following year. So it had a slight sell-off of about 85 uh, percent. Let's take a Quick break, we're going to have none other than Stan the Man Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter up next, hopefully. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, uh, unfortunately, Stan's pretty busy, so we'll have him on at another time. Uh, someone asked the question, uh, is did I ever have any good things happen about stuff like that? Folks, when you trade after 60 years, you're bound to have some good things happen to you. But probably the one, and there's been a bunch of them, but one of my most memorable was in August of 83. I used to love to trade gold, and I would actually go into the gold pit and do my one and two lots, and you know, because uh, I, I always passed my uh, 
orders into the uh, pit itself so I didn't have to worry about out trades. And uh, it was very dull over there. And so I was trying to do a two lot. And this guy from, uh, I forget which brokerage firm it was. I they had, I don't even remember what it was. But then he kept pushing me for a 10 lot, 10 lot, 10 lot, you know, to buy the 10 lot, buy the 10 lot. And he just kept, he was spitting in my face. And finally I said, take him. And so I took the 10 lot and I was angry with myself. And I walked out of the pit and I looked up and it was already down $2. So I'm out two grand. So I walked back to the, uh, the, uh, uh, <laughs> to the desk there and I said to uh, I said to Rudy I said Rudy I said I really screwed up with this I said uh, I want to get this out but I don't want this guy to know that I'm selling this 10 lot he said sure he said I'll take it in for you so he, he starts walking over to the pit and all of a sudden all oh, hell broke hell hell broke loose well guess what folks the Russians had shot down a I think it was either United or something I uh, was a Korean air. I don't remember the airline. All I know is they shot it out of the sky and gold jumped about 15 bucks and 15 times two is 30 large folks. And I was a happy boy and I couldn't believe this. I said, Oh my God, I, this is, this is terrific. You know? And so by the time he got to the pit, it was, it was, you know, very, very active, you know? And, and so he, I was able to get out. I, I, it was way over 20 grand. And uh, so I was uh, feeling pretty good. And so that night when I left uh, that afternoon, I always took the I, I took the uh, bus home every night because it dropped me off in front of the Lake Point Towers where I was living. And uh, so I was I'd, I'd stopped in front of the Catholic Church there off of Clark Street. And I went in and they were having services in the afternoon. And uh, Byron and I, as a joke, we used to carry a thousand dollar bill in our wallets because you could get them easily. Byron was dating a girl from the the uh, Federal Reserve there in Chicago, and so she could get any bill you wanted, a five hundred or a thousand. They were back in '83; they were easy to get. Late now, they're a huge premium to get those. So it had a thousand dollar bill, and the priest came by, and I dropped it into the basket, and he said, "Is this real?" And I said, "Yes, Father, it is." He said, "Boy," he said, "That's," uh, he said, "That's really nice of you." He said, because, you know, we're having a really tough time here now, summertime. And he said, we just, this is really tough. He says, really going to help. And so I reached into my pocket and I had another few hundred bucks and I just emptied my wallet into him and, you know, gave it to him. And of course, I had a bunch, you know, in my account the next day. But that was one of the good things that, that happened during that time. Uh, later that week, I went back to try to get the money back from the priest. And he said, yeah, sorry, he says, we don't have refunds here. So here's what you go. So when you give it, you got to take it. And that's the way it is, boys and girls. That's the way it is. All right. Someone's asked me a question. Do I think that we are still following the uh, program that Peter Elides had talked about by the 55 days? Boys and girls, I don't think so, but we are one day away from the 55 days. I don't believe that it's following the uh, 1987 one. There's a slight, slight chance that it could be following the, uh, the one for the, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, 1929, but even that is suspect. And with stuff going on with the war and stuff like that, anything could happen. All I know is the premise that he built that on uh, was pretty good. The fact that we had those rallies away from that number uh, on the 4th of uh, March is is very important. But whether it, it doesn't mean anything, because what we were basing every, anything on is how much you had to risk to see if you were right. That's the whole, that's the whole premise of uh, you know, what we were looking at. And that that's what I think you have to pay really close attention for. Stop and think where we've been, folks. You know, just today uh, in the S&P, you know, we had a high of uh, 416. We got all the way down to uh, 40, what is it, 4340 or something like that. I don't even know what the price was, how low we got. Let's just see how low did we get. Yeah, we got all the way down to 4340. So that's it. Let's uh, let's take a quick look. Since I got this up, I can see it clear clearly now. And uh, the number you want to watch now, folks, is watch 4371 in the E-mini S&P, just for kicks and giggles, just to see if that does anything. And then we'll be able to uh, to go from that level. So I hope that's correct. Regarding these other grains like soybeans, uh, bean oil, uh, and some of the others, I'm, I'm watching all of them for low risk entry, especially corn. Uh, I have friends that are in the corn business, of course, in Indiana and Illinois. And believe me, they've hedged, they've hedged everything that they can get all the way through next year's crop anywhere near $7 a bushel because they make a lot of money at $7 a bushel. And beans above $16, 
they have to do that because with the price of ammonia the way it is for the fertilizer, they lock in huge profits. And that's what they're doing. And when these markets are active like this, they give these people a really good chance to hedge. And if you don't, and if you don't, then you're in trouble. That's what Simonley's built a, a monster business. He, he's, he works, uh, his company was bought out by Farm Bureau, and he has, uh, I think, 480 farms, as I recall. A couple of them are more than 200,000 acres. And, uh, you know, these they, they do all that through through the banks. I mean, as soon as, as soon as they get a nice profit in something, they lock it up. And it's a business, and they're making lots of money. And not only that, but the farmland's going out, out of sight. You know, I heard it was up over $1,000 an acre just over the past six or eight weeks. Stuff that used was selling for $7,500. It's going for eighty-seven dollars to $9,000 an acre. A lot of it's coming from foreign, foreign buyers and stuff, but uh, it's still out there, and people are paying the price for it. So that's, uh, that's what we're looking at here. I have to give a heads up here, folks. I don't like to get into this, but this was something that was posted uh, today on Bloomberg, and I thought it was pretty interesting from one of our politicians, uh, Senator Manchin. And uh, from Wisconsin, and he's Wisconsin, try to get Larry West Virginia. And uh, he was basically saying, hey, look, Russia buys 44 percent of their sells 40 percent of their oil to China on a long term agreement. Right. The other 23 percent who buys it. The, ne the next largest buyer is guess who? Us. We're paying them. We're paying them exorbitant prices. One hundred and seven, one hundred and eight, hundred nine dollars a barrel. Come on, folks. Manchin said, let's take a look at this. Stop buying it there. Buy it someplace else or produce it yourself. That's smart business, I think. But, you know, that's my two cents worth. And I'm sticking to it. All right. I wanted to bring one of these charts to your attention here that uh, is very, very important because they just stopped literally uh, doing business with uh, China. And that is China. Russia. Try it again, Larry. That's Apple. You notice here we have this big move down. We've had a pretty good rally. I haven't updated this as of yet through the first part of the week, but I believe we're up around that 167, 168 level. I don't know what the high on uh, the um, uh, Apple was today, but it shouldn't be any higher. The most Apple should have got on this rally was 168. I don't know if Apple hit 168 this morning. Ah, look at that. 160. Is that where it is right now or was that the high, Bo? Yeah, okay, that's about right. One six. Well, some of these numbers work. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. That's the whole thing of what it's all about. Hey, let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we are back and we're talking about natural gas here. This is our chart from just a few days ago. We did get as high as uh, 482 and change. We've not taken out that high of the shoulder. So that is still a valid pattern. We've sold off a little bit from that level. So until that high is taken out, it's still a head and shoulders pattern. You can go back there and touch it even, but as it goes one tick above it, it cannot be a head and shoulders pattern. That's by the definition from Andrew Lowe the non-random non walk down Wall Street because they did these mathematically. So it's still valid, but with these uh, wild swings we're having these energy markets, natural gas is by far no exception. Remember, natural gas in Europe is selling for around four times what it is here. And if you remember many of these uh, Baltic state countries, Latvia and a whole bunch of the others, uh, uh, you, you just got to be really careful up there because they get all their energy from Russia, and that's uh, along with Germany. And so they've got to be really careful of who they make angry, <laughs> if they make anybody angry, if it makes any difference. Who knows? Okay, now let's take a look at one other one that I wanted to talk to you about in the futures markets here, folks. And that is, uh, let me get here, the sugar, because sugar has been hit. One of the few commodities has not rallied rapidly. Now, this was just as a few days ago, but uh, sugar had a big move down a little rally, and uh, it's been in a bear market. So that's one of the reasons why it's probably not rallying as much as the others. But many of the others are still holding up. We've had, you know, big, big corrections in the livestock market. We were uh, alluding to that effect uh, in probably coming in here. And uh, we broke through all that major support that was there uh, in hogs and cattle. They just literally, like it didn't even exist at that 382 level. And uh, that's part of what's. But remember, there's a there's a food problem all over the world here. We've got uh, Jeff from Philadelphia. Jeff, how are you doing today, my friend? Uh, hi, Larry. I'm doing great. How are you? Very good. What's up, buddy? Uh, I heard uh, Stan Harley canceled, so I thought I'd uh, call in and offer to share a little trick I figured out that helps me trade the uh, Gartley pattern. Well, everybody's listening to this, so go right ahead, Jeff. I like to hear it. <laughs> no, I'm okay. serious. I'm I'm open to everything. But it's just a little thing, but it, it's helpful. So um, what it is, uh, once I've established the uh, D point in a Gartley, um, I set an alert or a limit minder uh, just a couple ticks above that D point. In case I get a new D point, I want to adjust my target, you know, which is okay. the 0.618 of the AD uh, range. So uh, sometimes I get like five or six new uh, D points. So, you know, the alarms keep going off. I keep ratcheting my target up. And then I thought, you know, this is, there might be a better way. And I thought about it. And so what I do, excuse me, what I do now is rather than set the alert a couple points above the D point is I set it below the original D point. And that way I'm not being bothered by every new D point, but by the time it establishes the final D point and heads back down and then hits my limit minder, 
you know, by then it's probably the right one and it goes off and I still have room uh, and time, I mean, to um, adjust my target. So now instead of getting like five or six different alerts, uh, you know, I just get one, which saves me time. That's very that's very smart thinking, and what you're doing is uh, intuitively is you you're minimizing your loss, and that's the whole key to what the Gartley's patterns and butterflies, ABCDs. That's what they do, is they help you quantify what your risk is. So you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Okay, great. Uh, well, thank you very much. Just wanted to share that with the listeners. Well, I appreciate you sharing it with us, Jeff. Thanks for calling in. It's always nice to hear from you, my friend. And right, stay tuned. You've only you got too. another another 19 days, and spring will be here. You can forget about ice for a while. That, that would be <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I'm sure it would be. Okay, folks, let's move All on right, here. I wanted, Thanks, you bye bet. Bye. Thank you for calling in, Jeff. I certainly appreciate it. Okay, here was another one that's been under some stress here, folks, and I don't know why because everybody's probably staying up late drinking things, but you'll notice here uh, the coffee broke down below that uh, 78% level. I don't know if it stayed below 237. Would somebody let me know where the spot coffee is trading at right now because it should have had really strong support at the 237, and I'm not sure where it's, I don't, haven't trade coffee in years, don't plan on doing it, but someone asked a question about it, so I'm assuming that that's, what it would be if they give me the cash price or give me the last price of uh, I guess it would be uh, probably July July probably be July uh, coffee any any coffee price would be nice to see if it held that 237 a pound because uh, we don't want Starbucks going out of business on us as they're able to sell their coffee for three dollars a cup whatever it is that they charge I'd never been to a Starbucks other than the one in Seattle so I I don't really, uh, I don't really go there. That tells you one time out of a lifetime. Okay, now, all right. Someone asked another question, and that is, where do I think Treasury bonds are going, folks? Treasury bonds and Treasury notes are in a major bear market. We know that the Treasury notes have made the big A B C D pattern, and what we're doing now is we are completing a big rally here. Yeah, see, it broke down. Wow, 223. It really broke down. Yeah, that's that was a sale. Once that coffee went below 237, it's now 14 cents a pound under that. That's a five grand. So when these patterns fail, uh, stand aside because that's important. Now, let's uh, look at that chart here of the Treasury notes. You'll see the perfect ABCD within 10 pips. We had a really nice rally of three points. That might be all you get. The last time we had one of those, if you'll see a few weeks ago, well, a few months ago, we had a 382 retracement, and that also was three points. But the, the Federal Reserve is between a rock and a hard place, folks. I know Mr. Powell was up there with his uh, violin yesterday and his flute, you know, telling where the rats to come in. But let me tell you, uh, they, uh, they're, they're strapped. They really are. They, you know, they, they, they have a big problem. Some people realize it, but uh, they are trying to give you a line of bologna that is maybe just too many, two slices of bologna on that uh, white bread. So be really careful. Just trade what you see, not what you think. Raise my hand. Yeah, I believe things. So I'll stop thinking and just start looking because that's all you got to do. Look at the charts. Anybody that saw a coffee chart just now, once it went below 236, sayonara, five grand straight down. But maybe I should start trading coffee again. Shut the front door and raise the rent. And uh, also, folks, uh, I'll have more information this weekend because, uh, you know, we're getting ready for planning intentions here uh, at the Board of Trade for wheat, corn, beans, and some of these other things that are going to be out there. So we have to start watching that. They're going to have to plant fence post to fence post just to keep the world happy for one more year. And if we have any trouble in this country, oh, Shut the front door. You don't want to even think about where these prices could go. So we need to have a really good wet spring, a nice warm summer, not too hot, and a great crop coming in, in next fall or we are in big trouble, and we'll be following it quite a bit. Luckily, we have Rich Anderson and Cy Monley to give us some ideas on what the weather patterns are going to be looked at, so it should be pretty good to uh, look at that. Yeah, someone just told me that a Starbucks uh, chocolate mocha is four seventy five. Wow, you get the same thing at McDonald's for $1.19, and that's with the 19 cent uh, thing to the Ronald McDonald House. Let's take a break. 877 927 6648.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, someone asked me a question. Uh, is this the high in the crude oil market? I have no idea, and I don't really care. All I do is I watch the patterns, and I try to trade against them. I don't know where the high is, and I don't, and I really care. I mean, I didn't care in 07. I didn't care in 08. I didn't care in 14 or 19 or any of these things. I'm, I'm looking at how much money do I have to risk to see if I can put a trade on. That's the only thing I'm doing, folks. If you're looking for someone to predict the future, pick somebody else because – you know, sir, certainly, yeah, they do come in sometimes, but by golly, you know, you're only looking at, what, uh, one out of three chances of getting it right, and you try to do a little bit better than that in your trading. You try to be 50% or 0.618 uh, of that, so it's all about, uh, you know, the patterns that I look at, folks. That's, that's really, I mean, I hear a lot of information. I watch a lot of things happening, but when it gets down, I just look at A, B, C, D. And that's all I need to know. That tells me whether the buyer and selling is in there. And if I don't see that pattern lined up the way I want it, I don't do it. Perfect example is the wheat. I'm not going to touch the wheat, at least until we get up here near a, uh, near that 12, 11, 70 a bushel. And we're still limit up now at uh, 1140. So it's got another 24 cents to go. And, and I will sell it at 11.64 with a 10 cent stop because I believe in that 1.618 so much that I have to do that. And if I'm willing to take that $500 risk, I'm going to do it because I'm right. I'm going to have I'm going to have $1000 in it before I get the fill back if it's any good. If not, back to McDonald's and going to that $4.75 coffee. <laughs> we'll see if that's happening. Hopefully, we're going to have either Stan Harley or Tim Boss tomorrow, folks. Honest to God, I double-checked, I triple-checked, 
and I think I did everything but uncheck, but I had them lined up for today. Evidently, I had it screwed up, and we'll be able to get going here to see what uh, see what's going on. Well, if you want a good cheeseburger, Al, you need to go to McDonald's in uh, Zurich or uh, Geneva, and you can get a nice hamburger. I mean, just the, not not the not the Happy Meal, just the hamburger itself. The Big Mac is going to cost you eighteen dollars, euros, baby, euros, not dollars. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.